And business has a really hard time with this. Business is used to this, this uh, context in where they write a press release and send it out into the world and they think that frames the conversation. Well, that doesn't happen anymore. Uh, there are websites devoted to people who are pissed off at companies. Um, I'm sure you've probably visited uh, some of those websites, and it's angry customers, it's angry employees, it's angry past employees, it's angry stakeholders, and they are telling the other side of the story. It's really not good for your business. It is much better for you to tell the whole story than to piss off a lot of people and let them tell everybody what's wrong with you. And, and quite honestly, that was a state that I found Walmart in five years ago. You go to their website, there's no information. And I told Lee Scott, you know, you ensure that everybody who wants to learn anything about your company goes to uh, Walmart Watch or one of the other sites because you have no information here. So if I want to learn about your company, I have to go to all the pissed off people and see what they have to say because you're not telling me anything. And that's a hard notion for business. It's hard for business to be critical about the products they sell, to tell you that, yes, uh, you know, we have these great paper towels, but the truth is you really shouldn't use a lot of them because all it does is create a lot of garbage and creates, uh, you know, uses water and uses energy. And paper towels, which we sell a lot of, are a bad product, a product that uh, uh, probably we should wean our way, uh, wean ourselves away from. And uh, yes, our paper towels are better than other people's paper towels. No question about it. But that doesn't mean that they're a good product. And we're comfortable telling people uh, that, that our products, in every case, every single product we sell, fall short of what we would hope it to be. Um, we don't mind talking about that because what we've learned is that that kind of transparency, that kind of honesty and authenticity builds a level of trust that consumers really are looking for in today's world. How, who's, the, who's the timekeeper? Because there's, no, uh, there's no hook over here. So how are we doing from a time perspective? I'm doing fine. Okay. Okay. Good. I could go for five minutes or five hours, but I will limit myself. You give me a five-minute warning. Okay. Um, the another principle that I that I started out talking about first is uh, is how do you create a company that builds a community that unleashes people's potential. Um, you know, we live in, in a world where we talk about human resources and we talk about, many companies talk about being them being their greatest asset, all of these wonderfully bright people. And then you miss your quarterly earnings and what happens? It becomes a disposable asset. Um, you know, one of the ways in which most large public companies manage their earnings is to fire people when they can't meet their earnings targets. And despite the fact that there have been countless studies about the cost of letting those people go, the cost of then in the future going and finding people to replace, training those people, shows that, that, that in most cases these layoffs are not necessarily economically efficient. That's what companies do to manage their short-term short -term earnings needs. And, and it creates a terrible environment at these companies because how do you really feel like you're valued and that you're a partner with the company you're working for when any day business could get bad and you could lose your job? Um, we, it's probably been 17 years since we have laid anybody off. Um, it is always something of last resort and we do what some companies do, which is if business is bad, those people that are making the most money start getting their salary reduced first because people like me can afford it. People like me can afford to make 10, 20, 30, even 50% less than I do. Um, we also couple that with a salary cap where the lowest paid person uh, makes no less than 14 times what I make. And you might think that 14 times is a lot to make, but the average in um, large companies today is about 500 to 1. Um, 
it's interesting how much attention you pay to what the lowest paid person is making when your salary is tied to a multiple of what that person earns. But creating a, a great community that unleashes people's potential is, is about more than just economics. Uh, it's, it's about um, the culture and the environment in which people work in. And um, one of the biggest challenges that many workplace cultures have is this illusion that the senior management is as smart as they think they are. Um, that's almost never the case. Um, people get promoted and they get promoted and they get promoted and all of a sudden they think they know a lot more than everyone else does and they forget how little they really do know and they forget how much knowledge and wisdom lies outside of their own minds and they don't listen very well and they talk too much and um, many of the challenges that we face uh, are uh, about the reconditioning of these senior managers to try to put them back in their place. Um, and uh, to try to ensure uh, that senior managers are as humble as they should be. Um, W.L. Gore, um, um, one of the companies that I have tremendous respect for, um, the only way you can become a manager or a leader at W.L. Gore is because people choose to follow you. No one can anoint you a manager or a leader. You only become a leader because people choose to follow you. And to me, that's the way it should be. Um, why should anyone other than the people who want to follow you uh, be able to, to identify you as a leader? But that's not the way it works in most of the world. Um, and uh, it, it also uh, relates to one of the stories I tell in the book um, of a company called Linden Labs, who you might not know, but is a company that created Second Life. And uh, on a quarterly basis, uh, in the pursuit of creating this kind of culture, the way they award bonuses is they give every employee a thousand points. And every employee awards bonuses to other people in the company in any way they choose to do so. It's not awarded as a multiple of your salary. It's not awarded by senior management. It's awarded by the community. And you can give those points to one person. You can give them equally to everybody. You can do anything but give those points to yourself. And that is the kind of structure and the kinds of new institutions we need to create these new cultures. Another uh, wonderful thing that the, the former founder uh, and CEO, uh, Phil, does was every 90 days he sent out an email to the entire company and the email had three questions. Um, um, first question, should I stay or should I go? You know, am, am I doing a good enough job as your CEO? The second question is, uh, if I should stay, um, what have I, have I done better in the past 90 days than I did in the prior 90 days? Uh, what have I learned? What have I improved on? Um, and, and I don't think the reason he left the company was that he got a lot of, no, <laughs> you know, you should go. Um, but, but what kind of leader does it take to ask that question every 90 days of the people you're leading and to say, I'm here to serve you and if I'm not serving you, then it's time for me to move on. And again, that's not the kind of corporate leadership that we typically have, have in America. Um, so, fun thing about this book was to, to go around and, and discover um, companies large and small, companies in the United States and in Europe. Uh, we talk about Marks and Spencer. Uh, we talk about several companies in Europe. We talk about little companies like Etsy and big companies like IBM. And generally speaking, tell some relatively revolutionary stories that hopefully people haven't heard. And the purpose of the book uh, is to inspire people and to show people that despite all the challenges that we face and all of the, the, the way in which uh, the environment that business does business in has been designed in many ways not to incentivize this kind of behavior. 